think that's what we're supposed to do in some way. I think if you look at nature, right, you look at a tree. A tree to us is just a tree. Like, oh, cool, it's a beautiful tree. It provides shade, provides fruit. But for the animal nature kingdom, it's everything. It's our lungs, right? It does provide food. It does provide shade. It recycles the water. It's everything. It's a home for birds. Nature is always giving of itself, and we are nature. And I think we forget that because we're humans and we've created this whole idea that human beings supersede everything, but we're all nature. And I think part of our being is we take, just like the tree takes from the earth, it takes the water to grow, but in that taking, we have to give back. It's a part of this cyclical thing that nature is intended for. So it's just a part of me, and I love it. <laughs> it feels good. So yeah. that's, that's the other thing. I think a lot of people are like, oh, it's so selfless what you do, and it's amazing what you do. I'm like, it is selfish because it feels so good. Like I get so high off of contributing and having my life mean something. And yeah, it's totally selfish in that way. Yeah, I think the decision for me happened out of a have to place. I was doing really well in society in, in their terms. I was making a lot of money. I had a lot of worldly success and I had worldly success in multiple industries. So I was successful in the music business. I was successful in modeling, in television, in real estate. So I made all this money and I had all this success. And here I was going, okay, I still don't feel any different. And I had banked everything on that making me feel better or feel happier or really honestly feel worthy, right? I think that's what we're all searching for is that worthiness. And when I got to the top of that mountain and looked around and realized I still felt the same, I said, I, I guess I'm going about this the wrong way. Because again, I had done it multiple times and every single time there was that feeling of, okay, is this all there is? So finally, I stopped doing what I had always been doing, which was the go, 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 pursue, pursue, pursue. And I sat still and listened to that inner voice and said, okay, well, well what do you want to do? What do you want to create? What do you want your life to mean? What's your legacy? And that's what changed everything for me. Yeah, I would say I stopped ignoring myself. I think it's such a big thing. So many people have no idea who they are, and I was one of them for so long. Um, I was... Dressing how society wanted me to dress. I was talking about things society wanted me to talk about. I was doing what society wanted a 20 year old in New York City to do. And I just never listened to what I wanted to do. I realized I didn't want to be out every night at nightclubs having fun, doing this, dancing on. I didn't want to do that. That was what everyone else wanted to do, but I didn't want to do that. I actually wanted to be at Barnes and Nobles reading books. I wanted to be watching documentaries. I wanted to be studying and taking notes. And that's what I ended up doing. And meditation was a huge part of that. Journaling, huge part of that. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.